Hi, Scott again. Today's topic is rose bushes and trimming them. And last year I trimmed them to about two and a half feet. This year I'm going to trim them down to about um, 18 inches. Some people worry about trimming them too too short. Some people do them, uh, you know, just six inches or so. I'm not quite that brave. I want them to have enough um, of last year's growth and, and some of the heavier growth to push out the new uh, shoots. And so I'll show you some of the rose bushes we've we've got. And after a season, they grow and they get all gnarled and and all twisted around and. And if you just keep letting them grow, they just get more and more twisted. The bushes get all wrapped up with each other. And this is a way of cleaning them out and getting started again. So let's get started and see where we go. One thing about the tools I'm going to use, I'm going to use some little uh, pruners. And some people just use these and just whack them off, like the top 10 inches or so. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go down and use these big loppers. And cut into the meat of them and something that's really helpful is I have three different sets of gloves I have just the regular work gloves when I'm using the loppers I've got two pair one for me and one for my wife I've got a, a small pair of um, leather gloves to pick up the, uh, the roses so I don't put myself and I've got some really big thorny ones and so I've actually got some welding gloves that are all leather that we'll use to pick them up and put them in the back of the truck and then something else I do <clears throat> if you don't have a lot I put them all in the garbage and then after I've got two or three in the garbage I will use these loppers and cut them into little tiny pieces so you can actually fit quite a few rose bushes in the garbage <clears throat> yeah if you just if you just leave them um, uncut, you'll only get a few in there, but if you cut them into small pieces, you can fit, um, you know, 15, 20 in. I'm going to put them in the back of my truck with some tree branches we cut down before, and once you chop them all down, you can put you know, dozens and dozens in the back of the truck. So anyway, let's get started. So, look here. You can see how twisted they are and, and thick. And heavy um, you can see how it starts enc encroaching out on the lawn and so I'm going to cut those back so when you look at it from the side you won't have anything that pokes out over the lawn because when people are mowing the lawn you don't want to have that in their way so I'm going to trim all those back I'm going to trim all these down to about uh, 18 inches and I don't know if you can see there's already some growth right here yeah so it's it's already starting to grow if we can get that to focus on yeah all these little buds are coming out i'm going to whack all those off so it's the middle of march and let's get started okay so i'm going to come down and just start lopping those so instead of getting several pieces i'm just getting one Here's another one. Yeah, I can feel these through the gloves. So I may switch to using the leather gloves. This way is much easier too if you go down far enough because then it's not as many cuts. And you can get a lot done quickly. I don't know if you can see those thorns. They look pretty bad. Pretty big. Yeah, you can get quite a make quite a bit of progress with just a few cuts if you go down far enough. And some of these are dead, so I'll go down farther on those. Take those out all the way. That way you're getting rid of all the 
dead wood at the same time and just leaving the, the good wood. This is one that's poking out too far. So I'm just going to cut that way down. Cut that one way down. Keep it away from the lawn. So like I mentioned, the, whoever's cutting the lawn doesn't have to run into the bushes. grab them too hard or they go right through the gloves. What are we talking about? There's oh, that one dead one just sitting there. Okay. Look, I've tried on my glove. Yeah, you can see it's about 18 inches tall, which is kind of my goal. But I'm not measuring, I'm just, just chopping. Many fewer trips if you're cutting out pieces like this instead of cutting out off all those branches before you haul them off. You can also pick them up like this if you don't have any leather gloves. Just won't squeeze very hard. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do with the rest of these. And I'll just speed up while I'm doing that. Some of these are huge. Haven't been trimmed in too long. Yeah. You can see how big those are. But if you do that all at once, it's much easier to haul them to the garbage or to a truck to haul them off. That got me on face. Didn't think they'd be attacking me. I have a great big one.
and get all intertangled, intertwined with everything else. And even cutting them off this short, they'll still grow really high again. There's a big, I don't know if you can see that thorn or not. These are a lot thinner bushes. And a lot more intertwined. Some people will cut them down in the fall. Um, I've done both. Both work. Um, some like it in the fall just because it gives them a little more chance to start early. But I've never had a problem with trimming them mid March, sometime anywhere in the first of the year. I've done it. Seems to work fine. Some of these are just singles because they're just coming up from the base here. They don't really have a lot of branches. This way too, you can, by going down this low, you can see easier where all the dead wood is and cut that out. A lot of vines from last year, invasive vines. Pretty aggressive with how much I cut out.
Trim these branches that are coming heading over towards the lawn. I'm get rid of those. This is the morning glory plant, not the weed, but the ones you actually plant that can get pretty invasive and just take over everything. And that's what's happened here. Is we've got a bunch of them just, I don't know how they got planted, but some, somebody probably dropped some seeds thinking they would look beautiful and they can be pretty. But they take over everything. Okay. Still got about 10 more bushes to do. Uh, that's basically what I do about 18 inches off the ground. Some are probably oh, more like a foot and a half, foot and a half feet, but that's okay.
So here's the result of all that stuff we put in there. I'll chop down some little tiny, some bigger, but uh, we had to chop it down because we've got to go through town and it's got to be covered before you can take it through the town to the city. Anyway, you can chop it up as much or, little, or as little as you need to, but uh, that's what we've done. If you like that, give me a, th a thumbs up and subscribe and give any comments down below. Yes, I know it's a lot of work. And if I wasn't retired, I might have done it a different, different way, but this is a way to get it all in one dump load.